Pro inmate Edmund Zagorski scheduled to die by electric chair tonight in Nashville, but his attorney continues to ask for a stay of execution. Yeah, the state responding, asking the Supreme Court to deny that request. Zagorski asked for the electric chair over lethal injection, a request originally denied, then allowed. This will mark only the second death by electric chair in our state since 1960. Back then, the state used a different chair that, as WATE 6 on your side, reporter Bridget Biorlo shows us, has since been retired in a museum in Pigeon Forge. We have a lot of interest for this one. It is one of our more popular artifacts that we have. It was once one of the most popular means of execution. The electric chair was first used back in 1890 up in New York, coming to Tennessee in the early 1900s. This electric chair was used from year 1916 all the way up to 1960 right here in Tennessee, responsible for 125 executions. It was believed to be a more humane alternative to hanging. Prisoners would be strapped to a wooden chair, locked in by their ankles and fastened tightly around the head. Electrodes would then shoot through their bodies at high voltages. You can observe the original Tennessee electric chair retired back in 1960 at the Alcatraz Museum in Pigeon Forge. To know that it's been used in our state is really kind of eye-opening um, to see something that has attributed to the execution of several people is kind of eye-opening as well. So people are very fascinated by it. To this day, the electric chair remains an option as an alternative to lethal injection in Tennessee. Current Tennessee death row inmate Edmund Zagorski requested to die by electric chair. His execution is scheduled for tonight in Nashville. But he won't be sitting in this chair. He'll be electrocuted in a chair only used once before, back in 2007, on convicted killer Daryl Holton. Technology has grown so much since this was used in the 1960s. Seeing kind of the evolution of it is really interesting to our guests. In Pigeon Forge, Bridget Biorlo, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Bridget, thank you for that piece of history. And if you'd like to go out and see it for yourselves, you can visit the Alcatraz East Museum. Again, it's in Pigeon Forge. It's open seven days a week. Bo? All right. Thank you so much, Lori.